this is uh, Joey from JLD Travels coming back with a new video today. I have decided to jump back in and check out some more of uh, Dayton Wright's content. And we're actually te uh, checking out today the video uh, Dayton Coach AMS apologises to Passport Bros. So let's uh, see what this uh, Muppet has got to say. And uh, always like to hear what uh, Dayton Wright has to, uh, has to say as well because obviously do thoroughly enjoy his content and he speaks of common sense. So uh, without further ado, we'll jump in. Hopefully everyone's doing all right and uh, let's see what he's uh, got to say. Number one, guys. The Passport Bros have been said to be weak if they don't want to compete for American women or, uh, you know, they lose us if they can't get American women. Okay. I see the logic in that. But I also see the logic in the Passport Bros logic. Their logic is not that I can't get women. Their logic is I am not going to put up with these American women's bull. That's their logic. Hey, what's going on, good people? In this video, we're going to be discussing the popular YouTube dating coach, AMS, who in his last video decided to wave the right flag and make some peace with these passport bros because this is a trend that's going to continue to move on and it's not going to stop. I'm pretty sure that maybe he's been having some of these conversations with the men that he coached, some of his clients. I'm thinking they brought up some of this passport bro topics and you know ask him how he felt about it and i think he just keep hearing about it so i'm glad to see that he decided to confront the issue straight up so you know we definitely gonna get into it and break it down but before we do make sure you guys hit that subscribe button like the video drop a comment down below let's get right into it so the big topic that's flowing around on youtube in recent months um is the passport bros and today I want to talk about why the red pill guys, the Metasphere guys, at a whole, not all, not all, all right, I don't want the all police coming out of retirement, not all, <clears throat> but some, some guys in the Metasphere don't think too highly of the passport bros. Now, to be fair, I have been critical of the passport bros myself. I think we all have seen, I've said stuff about the passport bros. But one thing about me, guys, is I can admit when I'm wrong. I can admit when I'm wrong. I'm, I'm a critical thinker. I don't follow the masses. Okay? So after watching Austin Holloman, a couple of his videos and stuff, getting this logic. So far, uh, from what I can tell from the vibe he's given me off, because I've never seen this guy before, is that the vibe I'm getting is... He's kind of jumped off the bandwagon of hating on passport bros to sort of making out that <clears throat> he supports them, but without saying he supports them, if that makes sense. And it kind of feels a little bit disingenuous, like he doesn't actually genuinely believe that. And it just the whole thing just doesn't feel... It's kind of like trying to appease passport bros to gain views that's just kind of the vibe i'm feeling so far <clears throat> and this whole uh i'm a critical thinker but yet he initially jumped on the bandwagon of just a minority hating on these people because these men include myself included don't just want to settle for second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth tenth best we want the best and i've found the best and I know there's tons of people that have found what they're looking for. And I'm not saying that there isn't their culture there of people just going up for like that hookup culture. And there are some people that aren't after that and they're just looking for more just the intimacy without the relationship that goes along with it. But we'll jump back in and uh, see what else he's got to say for himself. I, I, today I want to talk about what the Passport Bros get right and what they get wrong okay guys that's what i want to get into okay 
Number one, guys. The passport bros have been said to be weak if they don't want to compete for American women or, you know, they losers if they can't get American women. Okay. I see the logic in that. But I also see the logic in the passport bros logic. Their logic is not that I can't get women. Their logic is I am not going to put up with these American women's bull. That's their logic. Fresh and Frit, uh, Fresh and Fit, me, a uh, couple other guys been critical of the, uh, the uh, passport bros. I want y'all guys to hear the hypocrisy in all of our statements, what we've said about the passport bros, including myself. Fresh and Fit podcast, shout out to my brothers Fresh and Fit, is basically b bringing some crazy women on their platform and exposing how crazy and delusional they are. That's their platform. You bring some women on there, you ask them some questions to find out what's their standards, how much money their man has to make, all this, but how tall he has to be, how big he has to be, how long, how good his stamina has to be, what's his 40 yard dash, all this got right? Then you hear these delusional on their show and then you turn right around and then you say, tell the passport bros, y'all, Y'all don't want to tolerate this. Dude, your, literally your whole platform is centered around talking about how crazy and delusional these is. And another comment said, Myron stated that he wanted his first wife to be a virgin and most likely has to go back to his home country to find her. That's pretty much the point of Passport Bros, to go overseas to find a suitable partner. And then, <laughs> then you could critique me including just got to stop it again there, there, uh, there quick. And I do, do apologise uh, for stopping it again so like fairly quickly. But like, he just literally ousted himself and proved what I literally said not a couple of minutes ago of how he was coming across uh, fairly sort of disingenuous and didn't actually truly believe the nonsense that was coming out of his mouth. And it's not about men wanting to compete or having to compete or doing any of that kind of nonsense the majority of western men can see the state of where the majority of western women are not all but a vast majority and they don't want to settle for someone that's got a body count that's as long as a bloody arm and he wants someone that's not necessarily pure but or as close to as that as you're going to get because with the day and age you have all this hookup culture and all this sort of things of friends with benefits and all that sort of stuff, which is just not my personal cup of tea. And these men don't just want to settle for just settling for settling's sake. They want to settle with the person that is the person that they love. It's the person that they will fight for. It's a person that they know that's going to support them. It's going to take care of them when they're sick and has the right attitude. This guy is an absolute idiot, bro. And I just can't understand why people have gone to him for dating advice, bruv. You'd better, you'd get more dating advice from a brick wall that's covered in bird shit. I'm not excusing myself, guys. Me too. I've been critical of them too. I've been critical of the passport bros too. I'm not trying to say, oh, they did it. They did it. No, I did it too. I'm owning it. I'm owning it. I did it too. You can't have a platform that's centered around bringing delusions on your platform and then telling guys, oh, you're pussies if you don't want to deal with this shit. You just made their point. <laughs> if you look at Fresh and Fit platform, their platform makes the passport bro's point. If you guys watched Kevin Samuels, rest in peace to the Godfather, if you watch Kevin Samuel's channel before he passed, he's making a passport bros 
point. <laughs> now, I don't think Kevin ever said nothing about the past point, bros. I, I don't think they got big uh, until Austin came around. Actually, I think the passport movement is something that Kevin would probably be on board with. He would definitely understand. I remember where he did make the comment that the number one threat to black women is the Latino woman. Black women need to understand something, that your biggest enemy is not a white woman. Your biggest enemy is Marisol. Your biggest enemy is the Hispanic woman. She understands how to season food, understands sensuality, femininity, and she was raised in a patriarchal environment. The Latina problem. Black women, you have a problem. Her name is Maria. Marisol. Love some brothers. Adios mio papi, how are you? And I do remember the woman that he was with when he unfortunately passed that, that night or early morning. He was with a Latin woman. But the point being is, Kevin had 30,000 people watching him. Kevin blew up, had major, plat major platforms, No Jumper, Joe Budden, T.I., um, Vlad TV, all bought him on there to discuss the delusional of women, the delusion of women and their standards. And then, out the same mouth, you got guys in the manosphere, not Kevin, but guys in the manosphere, who then turn right around and tell the passport bros, man, y'all some bitches, y'all don't tolerate this shit. When y'all guys have seen at least Fresh and Fit have nice, hot women on there. Kevin used to have some fours and fives Call the show. Call the show talking about they want a man who make a million dollars a year. You can't make this shit up. Shout out to Godfather. You can't make this shit up. At least I would give I would give the benefit to Fresh and Fit, the girls on Fresh and Fit uh platform. At least they are at least most some of them, some of them, not all. They have some scallywags on there too. But some of them at least have the sexual market value to demand a high value man. Kerry used to have some bitches on there that I would with my enemy. Seriously, I wouldn't want to touch them. Nonetheless, tell me they want a man who make a million dollars a year. Seriously, guys. And this is what we're talking about. We're talking to the um the passport bros. How dare you not want to tolerate this shit from these crazy? You ain't your mind. Ain't nobody finna. <laughs> So, in that aspect, I got to say, I got to agree with the passport bros in that situation. You can't, the, the manosphere as a whole, me, every other by the manosphere, guys, we got guys on YouTube in the manosphere, you got guys in the manosphere who got 3,000, 4,000 videos. Just that alone, the fact that you got 3,000 videos on how to game women should tell you everything you need to know about what's going on with the Western woman. And it's absolutely ridiculous. So in that aspect, from that point of view, guys, I'm going to apologize to the Passport Bros because if I don't, we'll walk in contradiction. <laughs> we'll walk in contradiction. Our whole platform, the whole Manosphere platform, just it's on female nature. And then at the same, at the other side of our mouth, we're like, how dare you not want to put up with this trash? First off, that's why a lot of men mess with AMS. You know what I mean? He, you got to have respect for a man who can come to the table and apologize and say he was wrong. It does take a real man to say when he's wrong. It, do, it, 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 don't, it don't make sense. So you can't get mad at guys who say, Okay, y'all go learn the strategies, this, that, and the other. Now, I'm still going to American women. I'm not going to start traveling traveling the globe because I can get women here. And, and I, I think that they can get women here. What they're saying is the juice isn't worth the squeeze. Okay? That's what they're saying. The juice isn't worth the squeeze. I, don't, I haven't heard uh, nobody say, uh, as far as I'm concerned, maybe I'm wrong. I haven't heard the passport, bro. At least not the ones that I've seen on, with Austin complain about not being able to get a woman. Just the bullshit that goes with it that they talk that that they talk about. So we can't criticize female nature and then 
point the finger at them and say, y'all, how dare you don't want to deal with these girls? That's stupid. Next, guys. So the, another talking point against the passport bros, besides that they're supposed to be weak because they don't want to deal with these American crazy b is that they get bought cooperation. Once again, I got to go with the passport bros on this. It's all bought cooperation. Yeah, but do you really, though? That's it the thing. It always has been bought cooperation. Let me tell you what happens with guys. Guys get some paper and they get women and they quickly forget how they got treated before they got paper, paper and all of a sudden they think it's all them. He hit it right on the head right there. But I'm going to have to stop the video right there, guys. I'm going to leave a link down below where you can go see the full video. But I appreciate what AMS had to say. It's good to see men evolving and changing their viewpoints as they get older. Because at this point, only a fool would stick around here and deal with the disrespect from American women. Like, no, man. Like, men are refusing the services of these women. Passport men are boycotting dating American women. And another thing, too, a lot of guys need to realize is that a lot of these men didn't plan to become passport bros. A lot of these guys just traveled to other countries and then just, you know, made a logical decision when they got back to the States that I will never date another American woman because you don't get the same standard. You don't get that same value that a foreign woman would give you in a relationship or a marriage. But that's all I got in this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the way out. Like the video, drop a comment. Yeah, it's going to stop the video there. And it's yet another person that is popular within the social media framework, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever it is. I don't recognize this guy, but basically this dating coach AMS has been semi disingenuous because I don't think he really believes the stuff he's, he's saying. It's, it's just a video just to grab tension, clickbait basically, tricking people in to think that he doesn't that he thinks more along the lines of passport bros but yet <laughs> his whole thing was just based off what someone else was doing on a different <clears throat> youtube channel and it's a guy that i have seen a little bit of before i can't tell you what his name was i can never remember it and um sort of picking holes at what he was doing over there it was bringing on absolute psycho women from the West. And then, in AMS's view, it was proving Western men's point to why they've gone abroad looking for love. And it's, it's, that's, it's, that's not what this is about. And it's, it's not about any kind of culture and this whole sort of fake-ass apology, like, oh, I'm sorry, passport bros, da 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 whatever. And... <clears throat> it's only become a movement because of Western women, and it's not just in the United States, it's in the UK, it's in Europe, it's in Australia, it's in New Zealand, it's in westernised countries, it's not just America, and it's not just black people, it's not just white people, it's everybody that can actually put two strings together to form an actual thought and think on their own, don't want to get time down with someone that's got a huge long body count and has had multiple, multiple, multiple partners, whether they were in a relationship or it was in some other guise. The movement has become a movement because men are not looking to settle for for 10th best, for 20th best, or no matter how many different men have gone through that other that person, they're looking for love, they're looking for someone that is going to be as close to pure as you're going to get in when I say pure I mean in a sexual sort of manner to a certain point but they're looking for someone more past that or someone that's going to be loyal to them that's going to be faithful to them that is going to give them something back out of the relationship won't just want and just take and take and take and take and take and they're, they're looking to settle down they're looking in the most part they're looking for love they're looking to build a family they're looking to build a future together they're spending time with each other 
and it why should it matter if there's a white person that's married to a to a Filipino for argument's sake, or you've got uh, a guy of African de- descent that's married to someone from Ch- uh, to a woman from China for argument's sake, or whatever it is. People, you don't, you can't help who you fall in love with. Like I, I didn't think I'd ever come across someone like my fiance, but yet I did. And two years down the line, I wouldn't change her for the world. I would. Uh, there's nothing on earth that would that would make me even contemplate dating a woman from the West again. And <laughs> just what she brings to a relationship, whether she understands that she's doing it or not. And I know she's not got the hugest self confidence in herself, but I can see what I can see everything that she can't seem to see, and I will keep telling her every day, no matter how long it takes for her to understand how amazing she is, how beautiful she is, how happy she makes me, and I will make every effort to make our relationship work. But I think I'm going to leave it there, guys and girls. Uh, Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you're seeing and would like to see more, please don't hesitate to check out all our other videos on the channel. Uh, Be sure to drop us a comment down below if there's anything you'd like me to check out. And also wanted to do at some point a QA and a sort of style video. Uh, I would hope to do it with her. So if you do have any questions for me or Lovely, please drop us a comment down below and we will obviously take on on board uh, the questions. We'll hopefully get enough questions to do a f- sort of short uh, question based video a QA and a based video uh, while we're together in the Philippines because we'll be there, I'll be there for Christmas which I'm super stoked about, cannot wait and yeah so uh, be sure to uh, smash the subscribe button if you're new and tap the bell icon so you don't miss another video and we'll catch you in the next one guys Palam.